Hello, in this presentation I will explain how to program ABB robots in the Rapid language. This is the first video of a set of mini tutorials to learn how to program in Rapid. The aim of this introductory video is to learn the basic instructions for Rapid programming. Specifically, we will focus on programming syntax, definition of variables and contents, the use of operators, functions and procedures, as well as the flow control of the program and basic interrupt handling. The robot controller executes a program module that contains procedures and functions that also contain a set of instructions as we will see later. Its module must have a main procedure called main that will serve as an entry point. In the main module, we can call another procedure such as my procedure in the code example provided. Modules can have a set of variables and constants usually defined at the beginning of the module such as target configurations for robot instruction motion. Some instructions could have been placed directly in the main procedure, although it is advisable to properly organize your code with procedures for a better code readability and organization. Here, I show some general rules for rapid programming language. All instructions generally end with a semicolon except for keywords such as PROC, ORN, and WHILE, among others, because they have another keyword that indicates when the instruction ends, such as END PROC and END WHILE, respectively. If we want to make comments, we must use the exclamation mark. RAPID is not case-sensitive, but it is recommended to use uppercase for keywords. In addition, the use of line indentation is also recommended for a better code readability and organization. Rapid includes three basic data types, which are type new, that can store integer num uh, numbers or real number values, type string, that allows you to store text strings, and type bool, that allows you to store Boolean variables such as true or false. You can also define numeric data such as bytes and other Alice names based on these three types. Rapid allows you to store data variables using the var keyword, but information can also be persistently stored using the parse keyword. The difference is that the parse variables keep their value even when the program is stopped. Constants are declared with the const keyword and they need to be assigned at the time of their declaration and cannot be modified later. Variables can take different variables. So to assign a new value to a variable, we can use the assignment operator with the double dot and the equal sign. Here I show some simple examples declaring some variables and assigning values to them or declaring a constant, as you can see. Classic arithmetic operators are available to perform numerical addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. There are also relational operators that will compare two numeric values and return a Boolean expression, depending if they are greater, smaller, equal, different, and so on. We can concatenate two text strings with the string concatenation operator, which is defined with the plus symbol. In Rapid, we can define procedures and functions to properly organize and reuse our code. Procedures and functions can be defined with the PROC and NPROC and FUNC and NFUNC keywords, respectively. Functions must necessarily return a value, so for that we must use the return keyword. In addition to this, procedures and functions can include optional input arguments that we will define as a comma-separated list indicating the type of variable and its name. Rapid includes many built-in functions for the, of different nature. Here I only show the names of, of the functions that I consider the most relevant ones and um, a simple example of their or how, how can be used. For instance, we can use maths or trigonometric instructions with numeric values or bitwise operations with integral numbers, as you can see. Rapid can read up up to 16 digital input signals and set the value up to 16 digital output uh, signals of the robot controller. 
This type of signals allow you to, uh, for instance, to control the gripper, to open the gripper or close the gripper, to detect the correct position of a part. We can also show text messages on the flex pendant, that is the robot's control path, let's say to show the status of our program. It also has functions to get measure of the time, to get the current date and read the system clock. Of course, like all programming languages, there are instructions to control the, the, program or the, the flow control of the program, such as conditional instructions or jump instructions which are the classic if and go to instructions. Here there's a code uh, of how you can use these instructions. Loops allow you to repeat a given set of instructions for a, a given amount of times. For that, we can use the while or the for keywords. We can break the execution of loops with the break instruction. If we want to make a wait, we can just simply use the wait time function but we can also make a conditional wait for an expression to become true or until a digital signal takes an indicated value. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the program flow can make jumps to interrupt subroutines. We can connect a digital input signal to a trapped subroutine, as shown in the code example. First, we establish a connection between the interrupt handler and the trapped subroutine with the connect instruction. Then the I signal the I instruction will enable the interrupt when the digital signal takes the indicated value. In this video, I have made a preliminary introduction to ABB's rapid language. In the next video, I will explain composite data types that will allow us to define proper working conditions for robot motion instructions. Thank you.